dare say thank you to all the hardy Bostonians braving the rain this evening. <laughs> Catherine and I are absolutely delighted to be with you today for our first engagement in the great city of Boston. Well, that heavy rain and the wind that Eric just talked about certainly didn't keep the crowds away as Prince William and Princess Catherine greeted the adoring fans right there in Boston's City Hall Plaza. All this after meeting with Mayor Michelle Wu. The royal couple then making a surprise stop tonight at the Celtics game before embarking on a busy agenda ahead of the Earthshot Prize Awards on Friday night. Of course, the royal family has a rich history with the United States and with the city of Boston. It's been nearly eight years since Prince William and Catherine were in the U.S. That was 2014 when they came to New York for a three-day trip where they visited the September 11th Memorial and Museum and went to a Brooklyn Nets basketball game. They must be big hoops fans. But it's the first time that Boston has ho uh, hosted British royalty in 46 years. For the U.S. Bicentennial back in 1976, thousands of people turned out to greet Queen Elizabeth II and her husband, Prince Philip. The monarch made her address to the crowd on the balcony of the old state house in the same spot where the Declaration of Independence was read 200 years earlier. We have been very moved by the welcome we have received in this city, particularly since it was here in Boston that it all began. Great hats there. There's now a small plaque on the side of the State House commemorating the Queen's visit. Did you know that WBZ had live streaming coverage of the royal couple's arrival all day long in CBS News Boston? Our Paula Evans sat down with the royal expert Shannon Felton Spence for more on what the visit means for William and Catherine and the city of Boston as well. And the city is just so excited to see them. So they lit City Hall green. There's other landmarks around the city that are lit up for the Earthshot Award. We gave them a really warm welcome. I know that they're excited to be here and there was crowds out to greet them. I just think it, it was a really wonderful arrival. For people who don't pay attention to the Royals all the time, why is this such a big deal? This is a really big deal because they have not been to the United States since 2014. And back then they were the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. He was third in line to the throne. Now he He's Prince of Wales and she's the Princess of Wales. That's second in line to the throne. He's next up on deck. So this is their first visit, their first overseas visit as Prince and Princess of Wales, those hugely elevated titles. Really shows how strategically important America is, how important Boston is to our history and our alliance. And so it's a really strong step forward as Prince and Princess of Wales to first step in Boston. This is also a significant moment for the city and Mayor Michelle Wu. Well, absolutely. This puts her... Uh, Mayor Wu's uh, leadership on just a global stage. There's no spotlight like the royal spotlight. And they really chose Boston for the Earthshot Awards because of her leadership, because of her vision, and because of her plan to make us a very climate resilient mm -hmm. city. So, what do we look forward to tomorrow? Tomorrow's going to be a very busy day, but they're really getting out of downtown Boston. They're going to see a little bit more of the real Boston. They're going to spend some time in Chelsea at this great organization called ROCA. They're going to be meeting some um, families that go through that program. Then they're going to be going to East Boston and figuring out more about our climate resiliency plan. I think that there will be some good, beautiful shots of the skyline there in East Boston. Um, it's going to be a really busy, busy day. Yeah. And then on Friday, they'll be back at Harvard and the JFK Library and, of course, the Earthshot Awards. And all that happens on Friday night. Stay with WBZ and CBS News Boston for complete coverage of this week's royal visit. And don't forget to download the WBZ News app. You'll get updates sent right to your phone.